today, Explorer Steve is going to put some vinyl flooring inside his 1999 Explorer camper van. Stay tuned. You know, my actual intent for this time of the year was to be in this camper van or inside of my Forerunner and tripping over parts of the United States and Canada, but because of the virus, that was put to rest. Actually, I even started to go out on a trip out in northern Nevada to the Desert National Wildlife Refuge. It's like 1,600,000 square acres of land out there used for recreational purposes. I got my forerunner ready because I was going to take some food out there and have a camp and cook in the sunset and make a nice video. And when I got out there, you know, imagine my surprise when I found out that they closed down 1,600,000 square miles of recreational area for my safety. And so what I'm doing now is taking the time to do a few projects. One of the projects that is long overdue is putting in a vinyl flooring inside of my camper van. You know, it's always had carpet in there for as long as I've had it, and it would be easier to have vinyl. I could sweep it out. It's much better for housekeeping, and I think it's more durable in the long run. And I'll show that to you right now. So it's called Life Proof. I got it at Home Depot. It's this off-white color with kind of a gray grain, wood grain look. It's waterproof. It has several like layers to it. It's about a quarter of an inch thick, so it's that lock-in-place type of flooring that you can just like kind of snap together use a hammer and a mallet or something it has this uh, wear layer on top and of course a full vinyl interior and on the bottom it has this sound mitigating underlayment already attached to it so you don't have to do that separate five-year warranty a lifetime residential warranty so I don't know where the camper van comes into place but let's go and take a look inside and see what I have to work with and how I'm gonna approach this because it's not like a regular house where you have a square room. So you can see in here, it's all carpeted. And this is old fashioned. You don't get carpet in any new or modern camper van anymore. They all have a vinyl or hardwood looking floor. Usually some type of laminate. So it's time to upgrade the 1999 Explorer camper van and put in some vinyl laminate type flooring myself. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, not completely square in there, so it's gonna be hard to find a wall to start with. One of the first things I want to do is get rid of this third row seating right here. It's never been practical. It's meant for a third passenger, but this camper van is built for just one or two, so that's coming out. And I think that I'll extend the vinyl flooring from the back there where the bed is uh, to the front just in back of the front seats, you know, where the driver sits. So let's tell you what my problem is with the third seat. It's cramped back there. It serves no purpose. It's not comfortable to sit in and do anything. I'm staring about a foot and a half, two feet from the, the headrest in front of me. I feel like I'm in an airplane seat. So I'm going to take that out and in its place, I think that I'm going to put a forward facing couch so that I'm facing out towards the aisle like this. And no, I'm not talking right now. This is a voiceover, but at least that way uh, it'll be usable. I will put one of those articulating tables here that can kind of like come in front of me and push out of the way when I'm not using it. And underneath, I'll put lots and lots of storage where currently it has none. I got a few tools together that I'm going to need to remove the carpet. It is glued and stapled down, so it's going to be a bit of a bear. I realize that. But before that, I got to remove this chair, so I have to locate the nuts or any fasteners holding it on on the bottom and take those out before I can remove it and get it out of here. Nothing is ever easy on a retrofit, however, so I found that there were some stubborn screws that I had to use an angle grinder to cut out of there before I could remove the frame. And it turns out that one thing is always connected to another, so it turned out to be quite a little project to just get this little seat out, but finally it was done. I was happy with that. My plan of attack to take this carpet out is to just use a razor knife and cut it up against the edges of the wall there and grab a pair of pliers, after which I will grab the carpet and try to pull it free from the glue and from the staples. So let's see how the plan works. I score it uh, once, twice, three times along the edge there with that razor knife, and then I grab the pliers and I start pulling away, and it seems to pull away cleanly in parts and not so cleanly in others. So, but I managed to get it done. 
After a few hours of cutting, tugging, and pulling, and sweeping the dirt that was underneath it, I got the carpet out in the areas that I wanted to, from the back all the way to the back of the front seats here, including where that little third seat was. Now it's time to think out my installation strategy. With only two boxes of laminate flooring, I had to be careful so that I could make the most of them and not have to buy a third. So I figured that I would just start with the center. So through careful measuring and planning, I decided to put one strip first down the middle. Then I'm going to work my way off to the right there against that wall and then work my way forward towards the exit or entrance of the vehicle. I have some tools of the trade left over for some home projects. I installed all the laminate floor in my home, so at least I didn't have to expend for that. Starting from the middle, it was nice that I could kind of piece some pieces together first before sliding it back against the wall after I had some of the cutouts already made. Because of the erratic angles of the camper van flooring, I had to make use of a lot of my tools. A table saw for straight and partial cuts. I used a chisel to knock some angles and little divots out and I use a Japanese pull saw also. Something else that's not used very much in floor installation is glue but I use this Gorilla construction adhesive for a portion of the step up as you get into the van because that was probably about the best way to do it. Stuck it right here against this vertical ledge and even used some brad nails to secure it in place. I use the same method for the step plate stepping up into the van. Now for a normal size room in a house they recommend one quarter inch expansion joints around the edges and since this area was much smaller I left the expansion joints much smaller about an eighth of an inch. And since this is a moving vehicle I decided to go ahead and fill in strategically in some of those expansion joints with some silicone caulking to hold it in place plus give it a little bit of sponginess to expand if it needed. This is because the vibration of bumping and turning can cause it to shift unnecessarily, so I sought to mitigate that. Now it's time to fit in some trim pieces around the threshold to the front, as well as around the step-in area. Using only two boxes, I only managed to have just a few cutoffs, and that's what you're looking for when you install. I decided on these satin trim pieces for the stairwell and for the carpet transition. The stairwell one has this VHB or Very High Bond 3M uh, tape to connect it with and I like that because you don't need screws with it. Did you know with a carbide tip blade in your saw or chop saw you can make clean cuts in aluminum with the right feed and speed? Once I had the angle cut and notched out, I cleaned the area that it was going to go in where that very high bond tape was going to stick to. I just peeled it off the backing and placed it on there and pressed it in place. It was easy as that and it is on there. Probably not going to come off forever. I cut the aluminum carpet transition piece on the table saw with the carbide blade. I placed it in the threshold and after screwing it down in place, I must say I like the way that it looks from the step up to the transition over to the carpet way. It looks good. It gives it a finished appearance. I decided to trim out the vinyl flooring in this roundover PVC white trim. I used my miter saw to cut it to length. I didn't want to glue or nail these in place because this is not a traditional home installation where you can do that. In a camper van, the water systems are all on the floor level here, and I wanted a way to have these trim pieces easily removable in case things got wet and some accident in the future. I could simply remove them, take out the floor in reverse order to allow it to dry before reinstalling it. Makes it much easier that way. Probably not as clean looking as a home install would be, but I have to plan for the future to save myself frustrations in case that day ever comes. I used my microplane to chamfer the cut edges to give it a finished look before installation. I accomplished the installation by drilling holes in the trim and using stainless steel screws and grommets to achieve a marine or boat-like interior appearance. Overall, I was very pleased with the look of the installation. I like the nice, clean, white install. I like the way that it adds brightness to the interior, which I always liked about the white interior of the Explorer. I think it's going to be easy to clean and sweep out. Coming up shortly here will be a video where I design, build, and install a little chair right here that's going to face the aisle way. It's going to have an articulating table. It'll be a place for me to eat and do some video editing at. 
I think it'll be fun because I also get to try my hand at some upholstery. Also coming up probably next week will be my redesign of the bed area from its current total king bed configuration to something with a little cutout in it. It's going to be much more versatile and give me some leg room in getting in and out. I'm also going to do quite a few cosmetic fixes that I've been aiming to do that you will get when you have a 20 something year old camper van. And it's always good to take care of those and make it look a little prettier. So until next time, we'll see you guys around. Take it easy. So if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and ring the bell so you get future notifications. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.